Question one, which expression is equivalent to the square root of 184? ¿Cuál expresión es equivalente a raíz cuadrado 184? So I need to see which of these is the same. ¿Cuáles de estos es lo mismo? I'm going to show you with the calculator first. Voy a mostrarles con la calculadora primera. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is put this in the calculator. La primera cosa es voy a poner esta en la calculadora. Okay, so square root, 184. To get square root, para tener el, el raíz cuadrado, you need to do control. And then this one, este. Okay, and then you will get that. So one more time, otra vez. Let me show you, para tenerlo, control, this one, x squared, okay? And I have it, and I'm going to go ahead and put 184, enter, and I get 13.5647, 13.5647, okay? Now, I need to see which of these is going to get me 13.5647. Ahora necesito ver cuáles de estos uh, tiene la respuesta 13.5647. So this one, obviously, no. Está obvio, no. 92 is not equal to 13. 92 no es igual a uh, 13. So that's a no. Let's go ahead and do this one in the calculator. Ahora está en la calculadora. So to do this one, you're going to go ahead and push 2, 2, and then you're going to do control x squared there to get that. And then you're going to get 46, 46. So just put it exactly the same, exactamente igual. And you get 13.5647. That's the same number. Es el mismo número. Right? So this is it. Let's check the other ones just to be sure. Vamos a verificar los otros, okay? So four, and then to get the square root para tener el raíz cuadrado, it's control x squared, 23. That's 19, it's 19.1833. So that's not good, no es bueno. Let's try the next one. Four, control x squared, 46. Enter, this one is 27.1293. So these are wrong, son, son malos, okay? Now let me show you how to do it by hand. Ahora déjame mostrarles una otra manera por mano. So I'm going to show you a different way by hand. I will go ahead and do it down here. So I had 184, tenía 184. I need to find the factors. Necesito encontrar los factores. So the easiest, because this is even, I will use two. Voy a usar la dos. So two times what number? Dos por cuál número es 184. Two times what number is 184? To do that, para hacer eso, 184 divided by two, 184 entre dos, 92, 92. So 2 times 92 is 184. 2 por 92 es 184. I can continue. Puedo continuar. So 92. Let's do 2 times 2 por what number? ¿Cuál número? Is 92. Es 92. So again, I will do 92 divided by 2. 92 entre 2. 46. Let's continue with 46. Let me do two again, dos otra vez. 46 divided by two. 46 divided by two. 23, 23. And 23, there are no numbers I can multiply to get 23. No hay números que puedo multiplicar para tener 23. Uh, this is as far as I can go, okay? There's no other numbers. So my factors are, mis factores son 2 times 2 times 2 times 23. 2 por 2 por 2 por 23. This is times, es por, es multiply, multiplicación. Now, let's find the pairs. Ahora vamos a encontrar los pares. I have two twos, so I have this, 
Is there another two? Hay una otra dos? No. Is there another 23? Hay una otra 23? No. So, the ones that are the, the pairs, los pares, I'm going to put them outside. Voy a poner afuera, outside the square root. If it's a pair, you put it one time outside. Si es un par, vas a poner afuera una vez. Okay? The non-pairs, they go inside. Los uh, que son únicos, va adentro. So, 2 times 23. Let's simplify. Vamos a simplificar. So, copy 2. Copy square root. 2 times 23, 2 por 23, 46. And this is my answer. It's the same. Es lo mismo. Right? 2, 46. 2 square root of 46. 2 square root of 46. So I don't really care which way you use. If you want to use the calculator method, that's fine. If you want to do by hand, that's fine. No, no importa cuál método usas. Si quieren usar con calculadora, está bien. Si quieren hacer por mano, también está bien.